Hello, hello, Sagittarius, and welcome in to Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today is July the 7th. July the 7th. Oh, beautiful. We're going to do a daily read today. This is death. We're going to do a daily read today to see if any messages want to come through for you, any advice, any guidance, any clarity. Please, Universal Energies, open up the passages. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Way too many than I wanted, but we'll take it. Sagittarius, you start off the, the reading with the, the, the death. Oh my God, I can't even talk. The death card. I feel that for some of you, you may be going through a major transformation in your life. Something has come to an end, but you know what? The good thing about things when they come to an end is that a new beginning is going to start. Listen, for you Sagittarius, you may be dealing with somebody from your past. This is a person who is very clear. This is, this is a person who speaks his truth. This is also a person who is cold and arrogant. And he's not very loving or happy. He is the king of swords. I look at him as a person who's gotten scorned by somebody else in the past. And he just had to build that 18th skin so that nobody can penetrate him you also have here the ace of swords listen somebody brought some truth into this equation there was some truth with the king of swords and the ace of swords somebody opens up their mouth and said something either you saw some clarity or this other person could have seen clarity however i just feel that this is you i feel that you're going through a major transformation in your life because you have actually made a hardcore decision that has nothing to do with your heart. And you were able to see the truth on something. This is truth. This is clarity. This is finally able, being able to get your, answer, your answers to your questions. You also have here the three of cups. This is celebrations. This could be family. However, this can also be a third party situation. So it definitely means more than two people. If this is not your reading, it is not your reading. If it's not your messages. The wheel of fortune. Listen, something is coming in to change the fate of your situation. And then you have the knight of cups. This is somebody who's a dreamer. He is always very peaceful. He is sensitive. He does not take too many things seriously. This is why he is literally sitting with a cup on his head. Maybe he wants to offer you something. And he is, you know, he's willing to give a little bit, but not a lot. And the knight is very immature. That's why you always, you know, he's sitting on, on a waterfall literally sitting on a waterfall he is not too responsible and, and then he's he's balancing on his head a cup okay sagittarius why is the death card here for sagittarius why is the death here for sagittarius by the way i will do an oracle at the end um just to see if there's any advice or guidance that wants to come through just before I close up the reading. So please stay till the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Okay. It looks like recently you made a transformation because you're finally looking for somebody who is more responsible, somebody who is older, somebody who is capable of loving somebody. He is the king of cups. This is why you are transforming this situation. Or listen, for some of you, the wheel is transforming this for you. You know, it just lets me know that something in your life has come to an end. These are two endings and two beginnings. Like this, this is great. Okay. And it is in your present and in your future. So listen, good things are coming to you. So let's see what else you have here. Oh, wait, wrong deck. Why is the king of so why is the king of swords here and the ace of swords? Why is the king of swords here? You got you have another king. Why do you have three kings in your reading? Sagittarius. Listen, for some of you, this could be two men, two women. Um King of Wands. This is 
Okay, so right now you have the King of Wands, King of Cups, and King of Swords. Listen, some of you are having some major, major wishes coming true. For those of you who have done the work that you were supposed to, for those of you that have gotten and have cleared yourself out of any karmic situation that you are in, it lets me know that you are ready to make a change. You may not be ready to make a change, but the universe is ready for you to make a change. You also have here the king of... Listen, I think that some of you are going to find out something about somebody else. Somebody is going to come here with the truth. And I already, like I said, I see three kings here. And like I said, this could be three different people. And you also have here the three of cups. Okay, we're going to clarify why... Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here for Sagittarius? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Okay, you have a new beginning in money. You have a new beginning in... Okay, so listen. You have an Ace of Pentacles and you have an Ace of Swords. And you also have the Seven of Cups. For a lot of you, you have finally realized... That there are a lot of opportunities that can come to you if you decide that you don't want to be in this situation anymore. Some of you are starting out with a clean slate of clarity. And a lot of you are also starting a new potential success. Something that's going to bring you money. You know, just keep in mind, listen, when somebody offers you a cup, make sure that you know what is in it. Because these cups don't always contain good things. Some of them do contain a little poison. Why is the three of cups here? Why is the three of cups here? Three of cups, three of cups. Three of cups. Two of Cups. Listen, for some of you, there was a third party in this relationship. I'm going to let you know right now. And this third party has now become two. Somebody saw clearly on something. And because of your clarity, this situation has been put to an end. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? <clears throat> Listen, a lot of you are being taken away you're being taken away by the universe from this fuckery that you are in, okay? You may be going toward a spiritual connection, somebody that you know. This could be somebody that you are married to, you know? You may be the married person, or you may ask somebody for marriage. It's kind of what I feel here. Some of you are leaving all this bullshit behind. You know, and for those of you who are leaving everything behind, listen, you're going to be ready to receive the, the you're going to be able to, you're going to be ready to receive the wheel of fortune. It is a major change in your life. Why is the wheel of fortune here? Oh, actually, that's what I just cleared up. Okay. So with the nine of cups, listen, it doesn't matter when messages want to come through, they come through. I see that you walked away from something. It took you a hell of a lot of strength to walk away from this situation, but you have done it. Some of you have already walked away. Listen, I think this is great. New beginnings are coming for those of you who are closing up your old chapters. You know, that is what I see. Please, universal energies, please give me an oracle card for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, one oracle card for Sagittarius. Any messages that want to come through. There we go. Believe in strange encounters. Okay? So listen, I just have a feeling that when you depart this situation, finally wrap up all of your loose ends. A spiritual connection is, is coming to you through the wheel of fortune. So listen, take advantage of that. I hope that this was able to give you guys some kind of clarity. Thank you so much for being here and take care.